23-year-old Anthony Plourd had nothing to say other than to acknowledge he was the one responsible for a series of crimes that started in Manchester back on December 26th of 2017. I cannot sleep and all I can picture in my head is the face of Mr. Plourd running around the corner, jumping into my car and racing away. Reading a statement from victim Doreen Betts, the victim's advocate described the impact of Plourd's actions. Betts had her car stolen just after 9 a.m. as she was getting ready to leave for the day. In her statement, Beth said that Ford took more than her car, he took her independence. Having gone through a year of cancer-related issues, I now have to depend on others to get me to appointments. Plourd would end up totaling the car by crashing into a building. Then he went and carjacked another car, forcing a mother and her 12-year-old daughter out of the vehicle as they waited for a prescription in the pharmacy parking lot. The defendant walked up to the driver's side door, opened the door and yelled at her to get out. He hit her with his right shoulder while trying to remove her from her vehicle. Floyd then sped off. He admitted he sideswiped a couple of cars in Derry on his way to Hudson, where he would end up crashing in a snowbank. He wound up in the hospital. He was taken into the Southern New Hampshire hospital due to uh, delusional thoughts, appeared to be under the influence of methamphetamine. Florida has agreed to plead guilty to crimes in Derry and Hudson as well. But according to the plea bargain, his sentence will be concurrent with the five to ten years he was sentenced to this morning. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.